What's up, guys? I'm Big Worm 380, and me and TK are back in Jade Plays Games Art Chronicles Aberration Server. So, uh, this is the crab trap. Today, we're going to get us a crab, uh, a Carquinos. And I'm not going to take credit for the design on this. If, you, if you're familiar with Nooblets, uh, this is his design, and it's pretty badass. I'm going to try to remember to link uh, the video for his uh, design video or whatever when he first built it in the description. And you can go check that out. But uh, this is this is it. I mean, we've got the catapult up top. And you, you just walk the crab right in through here. And he gets stuck. And the catapult shoots straight down in between the ramps. And it's pretty damn good. So uh, we are going to go try to find a high-level crab. There was a level 300. And TK was bringing it down this way. And it just despawned. So... Which I found, I saw it last night, and I don't know. I don't know what the deal is on that. I figured if it was there, it would be there, but who knows? So we're gonna go up and down the the uh, river here and just start clearing out the uh, crabs and see what we can come up with. All right, guys. So we got a level 200 crab here. So here's the most dangerous part of doing this with any of these. Um, you just got to make sure that they don't grab you because that happened to me the other day when I was testing this thing and they will fuck you up. So all you do is just uh, do like I'm doing here and just run them right in the trap. Uh, uh, oh, wait, 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 open it back up. He's not in, I don't think. No, he's not in. Are you sure? Yeah, he's not in. All right, go ahead. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Now he's trapped. He's stuck like Chuck because you got the side pillars right here. That keeps him, you know, from getting out the side there. And obviously the ramps and the door are blocking him the other ways. So then you just climb up to here. Do I have, uh, let me grab some, just a little more stone and I can be making ammo while I'm shooting him. Now, if you've ever done one of these, you know, you have to be very careful. Uh, I've already killed a few of these. You have to hit them in the body. So do not hit them in the legs. Do not hit them in the head. It's not like most things where, you know, you're thinking you're going to get the damage buff. And you just, uh, hopefully he stays like that as long as possible. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes he'll start moving around and you got to sit and wait. This is perfect. He start moving, and you you gotta adjust. He's already out. Level, Holy cow! That's the fastest we've done it, and he didn't. You know what I think? Uh, I think if you can get that first shot in, when he's like perfectly lined up, he does kind of that animation, and then you already got time to fire the next shot. So if you can just keep shooting him, you may put the kibble in. Did you bring some? No, I didn't. Uh, you. I brought eight. Uh, yeah, that should, that's more than enough. It should only take like four or five. Now, this is a level 200. Like I said, we, you know, I gotta, I gotta throw that out there. We are on a boosted server. So, uh, the max wild level dino on here is 300. And, uh, that's, that's what we had a minute ago that and it just despawned on TK. So that kind of sucks, but this is still going to be a good one. And, it's not going to take very much kibble because the uh, tame speeds up on the server as well. So, but yeah, this trap works super good. Um, it's it's the hardest part about taming these. I mean, you you can look. I think I I think every hit just about maybe one shot was bad on him, and uh, if you hit him in the body or the legs or the head, it, it's showing the same damage, but it actually does more damage to his health when you hit him anywhere but right in the in the torso or whatever you want to call it 
So if, as long as you can get them shots where they need to be, then you're you're going to be good. Boom. There it is. Came out of 299. Uh, 11,760 health, 425 melee. So yeah, and thank God it's got 24,000 food on it because that's what we really need, right? I hate, oh, yeah. I fucking hate that food stat. It's got 1,536 weight on it already though. So yeah, that is the trap guys. We're going to go ahead and get this thing back to the base now. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, some some rifles that I was able to make from blueprints that we uh, found. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so here is our crab. Got him back to the base. So I was going to talk about real quick um, about these rifles that I was able to make. Let me grab that and my long neck all right now again this is a boosted server and they've done modified drops so we've got a lot of good stuff anyway but of course you know if you're if you're finding level 500 something rifles then you want something better anyway you know, you always want the next best thing. So I was able to craft a max level uh, when you're crafting stuff is 755.3. That's the highest you can get, you know, if you mind wipe and do crafting speed and all that. So, of course, we have our tech replicator because um, you can farm element and we haven't done the boss fight yet and unlocked everything. But uh, because we're doing each of these maps separately, for the Chronicles playthrough, they made it to where you can unlock all Ingrams as you go along. So we've already got all the tech stuff unlocked. We're not really gonna use the tech suits and all that shit. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try to do that a little bit more legit. And um, we're gonna, you know, we might use some tech stuff that we unlock or, or what that we would have unlocked after each Rockwell fight. But other than that, you know, we're using the tech replicator the generators and we've we've utilized some uh, teleporters on different spots on the map already but anyway so the way i did it was uh obviously whenever i you have your blueprints right here so the blueprint was a 517 and i was finding i already have a couple of rifles that are a little better than that anyway so i wanted to do you know crafting speed and all that and this blueprint for the long neck rifle i think tk this is the only one we have right it took us forever to find this one, didn't it? Yeah, I think you found it, actually. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I did, or TK found it, I don't know. But, we, man, we've been playing for uh, quite a while now on this server and checking a lot of drops, and we finally found a, uh, a blueprint. Blueprints are good because, obviously, you know, you find a good weapon. I get I get kind of nervous taking a good weapon out sometimes if I don't have a blueprint for it because then if you lose it that's it. Um, so now we have this and a 515 is great to begin with. But I thought you know let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get a better one. So obviously you're going to need the tech replicator especially or really for either one of these because you're not going to be able to a smithy can't hold all this uh, stuff for the long neck and so. 8,287 ingots, 2,180 hide, and 1,754 wood. And then, of course, the Fab Sniper was the real pain in the ass. 7,187 polymer and uh, 68, almost 7,000 cementing paste, and then 5,000 ingots. So you got to have the replicator to fit all that stuff in here. And with the crabs and the rivers and all that, uh, it's real easy to get organic polymer, and that would have been nice, but there's not even enough room in this replicator to use organic polymer. So we uh, we were grinding out hard poly and we ended up doing like almost half and half. I think it was 3000 hard poly. And then I went and collected 4000 whatever, you know, to make up the difference. Oh, about how how difficult it is to find good, good weapons and and, and even armor, really on aberration except for going to the surface so using the mine or being able to make a mine wipe as early as possible and then put all your points into crafting speed 
so and a when focal you chili. make and a focal chili yeah that's right yeah which at, when, at 519 percent i i think i don't even know if we would have needed the focal chili because we get more points per level on here too we get a little bit more than normal i want to say the crafting speed it goes up a hundred it goes up a hundred percent i think each point you put into it yeah so i had ten thousand four hundred crafting and you know so we probably wouldn't need a focal chili on that but you know on a normal server or with uh less less stats per point you know the focal chili is good to have too and that's what you know tk was saying he brought up a good point that uh it's good to have a garden um right now we this is probably the smallest garden and most basic garden we've ever had all we've got is the vegetables and uh because we've got the roll rats that we can get tons of berries super quick so maintaining you know all this other stuff the berries and whatnot it's kind of not necessary but uh yeah mine wipes mine wiping before you craft something you know really big like that it, it's nice to do it gives you extra points but yeah um but yeah that's pretty much it guys i was just going to show you guys the crab trap and uh show it in action and that that i mean that went very smooth actually that's that's probably the fastest we've taken one down yet and uh i think we kind of figured it out once it gets in that perfect spot right in the center you just start shooting as fast as you can and just keep it on the body and then if it starts spinning around then uh you gotta kind of wait maybe for it to get back in position but that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.